Good morning, uh, Bazalani, and we welcome you this morning to Oasis Church, um, Johannesburg. Let's just come before the Lord um, and give Him all honor and give Him all praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You're always, always, always good. You're always, you're always, always good. You're Alpha and Omega, beginning and are always here in times of trouble. In you I live and move. In you I have my being. How great is your goodness to us.
every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. You give life I love you bring light to the darkness you give hope you restore every heart that is broken great are you Lord great are you Great are you, Lord. You're great and nobody compares to you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. From everlasting to everlasting, Jesus. Great are you, Lord. It's your grace. In my lungs, so we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise, it's your breath. In my lungs, so I pour out our praise to you only, it's your breath. In my lungs, so I pour out my praise, I pour out my praise, it's your breath.
what you continue to do in our lives. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for Jesus. Ah, in Biloze, it was defined in gala because of Jesus. Siabong. Siabong. Take over and take control. Minister through us this morning. Speak your word through us this morning. Change lives through your word this morning. In the name of Jesus, touch, heal, and deliver in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for your word, and we declare that your word is going to flow freely without any demonic hindrances in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you are going to speak into our lives this morning and change our stubborn situations. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. 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 I greet you all, Bazalwan, in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I trust you are well and that God is keeping you well and safe at home. Amen. Amen. So thank you so much for attending this online service and for taking time to watch or listen to the word of God in any of our online platforms. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Didiro. Thank you, sir. Thank you for allowing God to use you this morning for leading the worship. Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you, sir. Let us go straight into the word of God. I'm excited. Are you excited? Are you looking forward to hear what God has to say to us this morning? Yes. Amen. Amen. So today I want us to talk about following Jesus. Following Jesus. Can you say after me, following Jesus? Following Jesus. Yeah, before we go ahead, I want to ask you a few questions just to, to, to trigger your mind. Amen. Amen. Maybe you are a Christian and have been a Christian for some time now. My question to you, are you still following Jesus? Are you still following Jesus? Think about that. We have been in lockdown for almost a year now. I want to ask you, is your walk with Jesus in lockdown? Is your work with Jesus in lockdown? Is your relationship with Jesus in the lockdown? Are you still following Jesus or the lockdown has given you a reason to stop following Jesus? If you started following Jesus in the past and stopped for whatever reason, today I want to invite you to begin following Jesus again. And if you've never been a follower of Christ before, I also invite you to follow him. Amen. Amen. I invite you to follow Christ in the name of Jesus. We are familiar with following. We have people we are following in our social media platforms. You have people you are following, you have followers. We are familiar with the concept of following. I heard that in the social media world, you could unfollow someone you used to follow when you lose interest in them, or for whatever reason. I want to encourage you never to unfollow Jesus. Never to unfollow Jesus. Following Jesus, when Jesus called his disciples or his first followers, he said to them, come, follow me. When he recruited his disciples, he said to them, come, follow me. I want us to look at the following verses. Matthew chapter 4, verse 18, reading from uh, verse 18 to verse 20, the easy to read version. Easy to read version. As Jesus was walking by Lake Galilee. He saw two brothers, Simon called Peter, and Simon's brother, Andrew. These brothers were fishermen, and they were fishing in the lake with a net. Jesus said to them, come, follow me. Can you say after me, come, follow me. Come, follow me. And I will make you a different kind 
I want you to note that Jesus says here, come follow me and I will make you a different kind, meaning you cannot follow Jesus and remain the same. I will make you a different kind of fisherman. You will bring in people, not fish. Simon and Andrew immediately, underline that word, Simon and Andrew immediately left their nets and followed him. Matthew chapter 4, verse 21 to verse 22, New Living Translation. A little further up the shore, he saw two brothers, James and John, sitting in a boat with their father Zebedee, repairing their nets, and he called them to come to. They immediately followed him, leaving the boat and their father behind. Matthew chapter 9, verse 9, the Passion Translation. As Jesus left Capernaum, he came upon a tax collecting station where a traitorous Jew was busy at his work collecting taxes for the Romans. His name was Matthew. Come, follow me, Jesus said to him. Immediately, Matthew jumped up and began to follow Jesus. Amen. 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 There are many other places in the New Testament where Jesus called people to follow him, but I want us to pay attention to what is common in all of them. The first common thing is the statement, follow me, which Jesus said to all those who became his early followers. The word follow is an action word, which means they had to stop whatever they were doing and follow him actively. They had to stop, think about that, they had to stop whatever they were doing and follow him actively. The second common thing with all those who followed him is that they left something behind and started following him. All of them, they left something behind and started following him. The lesson here is that there are things you need to leave behind to follow Jesus. And I think these things, if they are not left behind, will hinder you from following him. If you have been trying to follow Jesus and keep going back, it might be because you did not leave behind things you were supposed to leave behind. It is not too late to leave behind whatever that is hindering you, whatever that is hindering your walk with Christ. Amen. Amen. The third common thing is the sense of agency with which they left what they were doing and followed him. The sense of agency, all of them, when you read these few verses, all of them, they say, immediately they left what they were doing and followed him. So meaning that you cannot afford to postpone following him. Amen. The right time to follow Christ is now. Amen. 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 It is agent, you cannot afford to delay following him. You cannot afford to make excuses for not following him. The time is always now, not later. Now, not later. Say after me, now, now. Not, later. not later. Do not say, I'm still enjoying what I'm doing. I will think about following Christ later. Do not say, I'm young. I will think about following Christ when I'm old. Do not say, I'm too old. It is too late to start following him. The right time is always now. Amen. Now is the time. What does it mean to follow Jesus? The first group of people who were following Jesus were called disciples. And therefore to be a Jesus follower means to be a disciple. If you are following Christ from today, you need to know you are a disciple. Can you say after me? I am a disciple. I am a disciple. The word disciple means, disciple means to actively imitate both the life and the teaching of the master. Actively imitate both the life and the teaching of the master. A disciple is a dedicated follower of Christ. Underline the word dedicated. A disciple is a devoted follower of Christ. In short, disciple means to follow Christ. To be a disciple means to follow Christ. If you are a Christian, you are a follower of Christ. You are a follower of Christ. 
when you go in depth with the discipleship concept, you will realize the following. The word disciple comes from the word discipline. Yeah. It comes from the word discipline. Therefore, the word disciple means the follower of a particular person's set of disciplines. If you are a follower, I mean a disciple, it means you are a follower of a particular person's set of disciplines. And so when Jesus calls us to follow him, he is calling us to follow his set of disciplines. Think about that. He is calling us to follow his tested and proven to be effective set of disciplines. In other words, Jesus' set of disciplines are tested and proven that they produce desired results if adhered to. That is why he calls us with so much boldness and confidence because he knows that we will succeed in life if we are following him, when we are following him. Amen. 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 Therefore, discipleship is not an event, Bazalwan. Discipleship is not an event. It is a description of a lifestyle. Yeah. Sure. Discipleship is a lifestyle. <clears throat> and this is the embedded meaning of the word disciple. Following Jesus means following Jesus' way of life. It means following Jesus' way of life. Amen. Amen. If we are following Jesus, we are to follow his set of disciplines to remain his disciples. We need to understand his set of disciplines. We need to uphold his set of disciplines. Amen. Amen. He is our teacher and we are his students. He is our leader and we are his followers. And I love Jesus because he is a good leader. Amen. He is a good leader. Amen. If we are to follow Jesus successfully, we need to know his sets of disciplines. I have listed some of them as follows. I will not uh, define these disciplines. We will describe them in our next installment. Jesus' set of disciplines are as follows. Number one, and I did not leave them, I mean, I did not list them in a particular order. Number one, love. Say love after me. Love. Faith. Faith. Prayer. Prayer. Giving. Giving. Serving. Serving. Obedience. Obedience. If you are following Jesus indeed, his set of disciplines become your set of disciplines. In other words, you love just as he loved. Amen. You pray as he prayed. Amen. You have faith just like Jesus. Amen. You give just like Jesus. Amen. You serve just like Jesus. Amen. You obey the will of God just like Jesus. In short, you live your life just like Jesus. Why? Because you are his follower. Mm -hmm. Following Jesus is practical. It is in deed and not just in words. Amen. Following Jesus is in deed and not just in words. There will be tangible and visible evidence in your life when you are following Jesus indeed. Mm -hmm. In other words, there is a difference between following Jesus and claiming to follow Jesus. Partial following, Bazalwane, is not following. Selective following is not following. Selective following means following Jesus only when he says what you want to hear. Selective following is when you follow him only when he makes you feel good. As soon as you feel uncomfortable, you stop following. Following him only when he is performing miracles giving you what you want, and when he speaks about serving, you stop following him. So, a long time ago, he realized that some people were following him partially, were following him selectively, and were following him for selfish reasons. When you read John chapter 6, verse 26 in the Passion Translation, Jesus replied, let me make this very clear. You came looking for me because I fed you by a miracle, not because you believe in me. So the question to ponder about there is, are you following Jesus for the right reasons? Are you following Jesus for the right reasons, or you are following him for what you can get from him? 
The right kind of following him is when you follow him for who he is, not for self-centered reasons. Partial and selective following is when you follow him only when he makes you feel good. And as soon as he talks about money, you stop following him. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 21, written in the Amplified Version, For where your treasure is, there your heart, there your wishes, there your desires, there that on which your life centers will be also. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Amen. Amen. So when Jesus talks about money, he is not interested in your money. We need to learn that. He is not interested in your money, but he is interested in your heart. He is interested in your life. Amen. 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 It is said, Geba Zalwane, that um, money is the number one hindrance that delays many people from following Christ. In other words, many people don't mind following Jesus as long as giving is not part of it. And so giving and paying tithes sounds like an insult to many people. people. Talking about money sounds very offensive to many people. When you follow him and yet your money is not following together with you, you are not following because your life is left where your money is. Your heart is left where you left your money and you will keep going back where you left your money. When you follow him and yet your money is not following together with you, you are not following because your life is left where you left your money. So in other words, you will keep going back to where you left your money. So when Jesus is talking about following him, or should I put it this way, following Christ includes absolutely everything. It includes who we are and what we have. Your relationship with money tells what your priority is in life. Your attitude towards money will reveal what controls your life. It will tell what value, what you value the most in your life. It will tell what you value the most in your life. Your attitude towards money will expose your true colors. And therefore, it is true that money is the real test of character. Are you following Jesus even when it comes to your money? Ponder. Are you following Jesus even when it comes to your money? Amen. Amen. We said that following Jesus means to follow Jesus' set of disciplines. Is there a piece of evidence in your life as proof that you are following Christ? Is there a piece of evidence? Bukona inu fagazi entule niyako obobuti ulande lujesu. Ikona yini inje pategayo empilwe niyako ebu fagazi bogutu ulande lujesu. 1 John chapter 2, verse 6 in the message translation. If someone claims, I know him well, but doesn't keep his commandments, he is obviously a liar. His life doesn't match his words. But the one who keeps God's word is the person in whom we see God's mature love. This is the only way to be sure we are in God. Anyone who claims to be intimate with God ought to live the same kind of life Jesus lived. Anyone who claims to be intimate with God ought to live the same kind of life Jesus lived. The same scripture in an amplified version. Whoever says he lives in Christ, that is, Whoever says he has accepted him as God and Savior ought as a moral obligation to walk and conduct himself just as he walked and conducted himself. Are you walking the talk or are you just talking? When Mahatma Gandhi observed the lifestyle of those who claimed to be followers of Christ 
and observed the disconnect between their lives and the, and the life of Jesus Christ, whom they claim to be following. He said, I quote, I like your Christ. I do not like your Christians. Your Christians are so unlike your Christ. End quote. When he observed the quality of those people at the time who were claiming to be followers of Jesus, when he looked at their lives, when he looked at their conduct, he observed that there was a disconnect between what they claim to be and what they actually are. Between who, between who they claim to follow and how they conduct themselves. And he said, I like your Christ. I don't like your Christians. Your Christians are so unlike your Christ. End quote. The genuine the genuineness, let me put it this way, the genuineness of one's relationship with Christ is seen in a person's visible behavior. Yeah. Yeah. The genuineness of one's relationship with Jesus is seen in a person's visible behavior. So following Jesus Christ is evidenced by a life modeled after him. Following him, it is evidenced by a life modeled after him. Amen. So my last question as we close, are you following Jesus or you claim to be following him? Think about that. Those who look at your day-to-day -day life, do they see Christ in you? Your co-workers where you are working, do they see Jesus in you? Your family members, your extended family members, your relatives, do they see Christ in you? Your spouse, if you are married, do they see Christ in you? Your girlfriend, does she see Christ in you? Your boyfriend, your children, if you are a parent, do they see Christ in you? Your parents, if you are a child, do they see Christ in you? Is there a piece of evidence in your life as proof that you are a follower of Christ? I'm closing. And so, I invite you to follow Jesus this year like never before. Follow Christ this year like never before. I encourage you to rededicate your life to Christ and start and begin following him. I encourage you to follow Jesus' set of disciplines. Follow Jesus' set of discipline. In other words, love Faith, pray, reading the word, giving, serving, obedience. In other words, love God this year like never before. Love yourself this year like never before. Love other people this year like never before. Forgive other people this year quicker than you used to forgive before. Be patient with other people this year like never before. Grow in your faith this year like never before. Pray, this is the year of prayer. Pray this year like never before. Read the word of God this year like never before. Make a decision. I'm going to spend time with the word this year. Give and pay tithes this year like never before. Serve, 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 serve this year like never before. Obey the will of God this year like never before. Amen. Amen. I want to pray with someone who wants to begin following Jesus from today. Someone who says, I want to make a decision to follow Christ this year. Amen. Amen. I want to pray with that person wherever you are, at home, driving, going to work, wherever you are, at work. Yes, 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 yes. Take some time to pray this prayer with me. Amen. 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 You will help us. Amen. Amen. Say, Jesus, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you are the Son of God. That you died on the cross to rescue me from sin. That you died on the cross to rescue me from sin. And death. And, death. and to restore the image and likeness of God in me. And to restore the image and likeness of God in me. 
I choose now to turn from my sins. My self-centeredness. And every part of my life that does not please you. I gave myself to you. I receive your forgiveness. And ask you to take your rightful place in my life. As my Savior and Lord, reign in my heart. Fill me with love and your life. And help me to become a person who is truly loving. A person like you. Live in me. Love through me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying this prayer. May God give you the strength to follow Jesus through and through. Amen. 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 We may lift our hands as we close in prayer. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. May God walk before you and level all the mountains ahead of you. May he open doors for you and bless you in your coming in and your going out. May God bless the work of your hands in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, and we bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Bazalwane, have a wonderful day and a great week ahead. May you enjoy your Sunday, spend time with your family, spend time with your loved ones, and enjoy your day. Amen. Amen.